I'm gonna show you guys how to super pump your forearms for maximum muscle growth right after this. Hey guys, Coach P with Championship Muscle. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. I'm gonna show you how to supersize, super pump up those forearms like you've never had them pumped before. You hear me talk about that skin splitting pump? I'm gonna show you how it happens. I'm gonna do two sets on drop sets, starting with a 15 pound dumbbell, and then I'm gonna to go to a 10 pound dumbbell. When you do this, you do reps to failure. I'm gonna demonstrate doing about maybe 10 or 12 reps, then I'm gonna drop set, do another few reps on the other weight, and then I'm gonna to go to another exercise, and I'll explain what that exercise is right after I finish up with this one, so follow along with me. Now, I'm gonna do this in both right and left hands. I start out doing wrist curls, just like this. I do as many reps as I can, usually to the 20 to the 25 rep range. And then I rotate like this. And again, I try to get as many reps as I can, because like I've explained in the past, your first set, that first round of repetition that you're putting out there is what's going to set the pace for the pump. So you want to make sure you get the maximum amount of repetitions to pump that muscle up, to get all that blood pumping into that forearm. So as you see, I just rotated my forearm upward. And again, I'm going to do this as many reps as I can. And when I'm done, I'm going to go to a drop set. I'm going to go from the, the 15 to the 10, and I'm going to start again. I'm going to go reps to failure because my first set, I did a maximum number of reps where I couldn't do any more. So the next set is reps to failure. And then I rotate going up, reps to failure. And then I curl upward, reps to failure. And when I'm done, I switch and I do it all over again on the other arm, okay? For time on the video, I'm only gonna demonstrate the one arm, but you repeat that process again on this arm. You start out like this, you rotate up, you rotate again, reps to failure, reps to failure, reps to failure, okay? Then you drop set. Reps to failure, reps to failure, reps to failure. Now you're gonna follow me over to a very old school tool that I've had for probably 30, 35 years or more. And it's with the rope. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the best forearm exercises. And I do this one rotation going up and I do one rotation going down, just like this. My arms are locked out and I am curling and squeezing at the same time. Curling and squeezing at the same time. And when I get to the top, I don't let the weight slide. I lower it, doing the repetitions in the opposite way. The rotation is now opposite of what I did bringing the weight up. And you're gonna start feeling your forearms scream because this exercise is an ass kicker, okay? And when I'm done, I go up again. Just like this. I go all the way up. And then when I get to the top, I re reverse rotation and I go down. It's nice and controlled. I'm not letting this weight slide through my palms of my hands. I'm slowly rotating the wrists in the opposite direction and my forearms are screaming right now. Okay, that was tough. Whew. Oh, got a good pump coming into the forearms. A lot of blood coming in. Now we're gonna move on to a third exercise, okay? What you need to do, do another rotation of the wrist curls. Lighten up the weight if you have to. Remember, this isn't a how much weight game. This is a how many repetition game because the repetition is what's gonna put the blood in that muscle. That's where you're gonna get that skin splitting pump. So if you want, do another round of the wrist curls, rotating this way, this way, 
And this look, I have an, I'm having a hard time doing this because my friggin' arm is getting so pumped. This way, this way, and this way, and drop set again if you have to. Lightweight, rotate over to the other arm. Again, this way, this way, and this way. Then go back to the rope wrist curls. Do another round of this. And then we're gonna go to the finishing exercise. So follow me over to the finishing exercise. All right, guys, here we are at the last and final exercise, which I call the finisher. It's a standing wrist roll going forwards to failure and then backwards to failure. It is an ass kicker. Every time I finish doing this, my hands start to cramp because the, the, there's so much blood going to my forearms. So watch how I do this. Now, I've demonstrated in previous videos doing it behind me. Now I'm gonna show you the version of doing it in front of me, okay? I get to the middle of the bar and my hands are just outside of my thighs. So they're pretty much, I would say, shoulder width. I start the rotation just like this. And I am squeezing my forearms with each repetition, just like this. And if you get a look at it in the mirror, you'll see how the tops of my forearms are getting affected by this. Just by doing this exercise. And when I hit that failure number, I go in reverse. And again, if you get a shot at the top of my forearms in the front, you'll see how the muscle's getting trained a little differently. And all I'm doing is reverse rolling this barbell. Just like this, okay? And each time I did it, it was the failure. When I would finish the front and rear rotation or front and reverse rotation, I'd wait about a minute and then I'd go right back to it. And again, I would do the reps to the failure going forward and then I would do it going backward. This is gonna give you a skin splitting pump like no other. These other forearm exercises, they're okay. I have better results and I've gotten better results just doing this. It's, it's pretty much the basics, but it's effectively trained the whole forearm. I mean, my forearms are screaming right now and I only did like demonstration stuff. I mean, you know, you tell me, give this a try. I think you guys are gonna like this. If you have any questions, reach out to me. My book is on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It's doing very well, getting five-star reviews. And I am a product rep for Gene Pro Protein. Use Coach P in the discount. You'll get a 15% uh, discount off your order. The company's veteran owned, and it's been a game changer for me. I'm a type two diabetic, and it has no effect on my blood sugar. I don't have any blood sugar spikes. My blood sugar stays stable or it's dropped a few points after I trained or after I've taken it. So for me, it's a win-win situation. So I hope you guys give it a try. Until next time, I'll see you in the gym. You guys have a great day. Peace out.